Hello there everybody, my name is Alan Tesh, welcome to my playthrough of Undertale. So, this is where we left off the last time and, uh, yeah, we're just going to continue. Chris, I've got a good mother. We'll be a thing to make her better with the wood sword. I decided to change her voice because I can't do a violent, a violent like, douchebag kind of voice with my normal uh, sound. So. Alright. Let this get, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do a project. How's that sound? Don't bother us. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Okay. Look, can you walk in this slower or what? No, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Okay, douche. Well, there's the closet. Too bad. We just chose to have fun. Okay. Hey, Chris, is it just me or is it really dark in here? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll. We're both going at the same time. See? What are you so scared about? There's nothing in here but all papers. Let's try to find the light switch. That's weird. I can't find the light a switch. Guess it's further in. Well, cut up a big closet. Cut up big for a closet, huh? You think we have reached the end by now? Hey Chris, I think this closet is uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we will work hard enough. If Alphys wants shock so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us out. What is happening? Floor, it's... Okay. It's like an endless in Wonderland. Yeah, here we went. We went coins. What? Where are we? Okay. I don't see Susie, but we're wearing some pretty swaggerous outfit. As soon as you see it, flickering the lights, only you can see it. By second nature, we reach out and save. Okay. Okay, the sounds are strange. The music is creepy. Oh, okay. They're waving at me. Did you guys see our shadow going up? On the screen? On the top of the screen? Cause I sure did saw it. see it. Hello. They're waving at me. Yeah, there goes the channel again. This time it went to the right. And there's definitely a face. 
Looks like it's looking at me, look, look. He's peeping. It's like, what is he gonna do? Okay. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yes. You got the glow shard. I charged you with this before, but the voices that I I wasn't satisfied with the voices that I gave to the characters. So uh, I thought to take two. Right, they shoot at me this time. You bathe your body in the in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have, you may have had, has not. Sorry about that. Any pain you may have had melted away. Okay, another checkpoint. In this land, all the eyes blinded by the darkness can see the way. By darkness, not by the darkness. Okay, we'll solve it. We'll solve this. That's pretty easy. What the? Whoa! You see that again? Yeah. There it goes again. Hey, back off! Come any closer now? Chris? Hey, don't scare me like that, Dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, no screwing around. We gotta find our way off this place. Off here. Um, where's you? Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out of here. Lead the way, Chris. Oh my god. Never mind. You walk way too slow. Wait. Wait, Susie. Susie gone. So I was being a weeb there. Be quick. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? To kill us! Run, Chris! Ouch! It's really a bullet! So really? Alright, I made it. We're almost at half health. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Pretty bad this game. Alright. Sup? Oh. You're not dead, sweet. Go near the old the hack this this place is. Me neither. Okay, my voice is getting kind of tired. So I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna speak with the, uh, I'm gonna give it like a uh, my normal, like bass tone voice. But when he screams or speaks louder, I'm gonna give him that, the grunky voice. Wonder if anyone. Maybe this place is abandoned. It's an abandoned park, theme park. Wait. What the voice is in? Maybe it's abandoned because 
Maybe maybe they abandoned this because they want you they want you any. Okay. okay, well this looks spooky. And there's like some castle walls over here. This area. In front of your castle looms beneath the, the empty town. A black geyser uh, emerges from it, piercing the and distilling into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Right. Castle town. Excuse me. Castle. What the hell is, is that castle inside? It's like a closet. Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I'm not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris. Susie. There's a legend in this land. A legend that one day, two heroes of light will arrive. And fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by space and time. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Okay? Very well then. Once upon a time, legend was this whispered among shadows. It was the legend of hope. It was legend of dream. It was legend of light. It was legend of dark. This is the legend of Delta Moon. For millennia, light and dark has lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. Of this harmony would shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror. And the land will crack with fear. Then her pounding, then her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at the world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels to heaven. Haven. Only then, balance will, will balance be restored, and the world saved from destruction. Stay at the fountains of, of darkness. The gazer that gives this land form sends Saul at the center of the kingdom. But recently another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Alright, that was a pretty epic tale. A pretty epic tale. I enjoyed that. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of this legend of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save, save, save the world. Delta warriors, please, would you accept your destiny? Hello. Uh, no. What? Me? Some kind of hero? Or something? You got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the world will... So what if the world gets destroyed? I don't like damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris. If you don't play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. 
I'm, I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. What? Ho oh ho! The heroes are running away already. And they didn't even know. They didn't. And didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm the bad guy. You clowns want to see the our fountain, our dark fountain, huh? And see a picture in your two clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh, don't need. Don't try to deny it. We both know you go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got flawless two separate plans to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Nice blanket. Really? Yeah, actually, why the fuel is it on you instead? Lancer busts in. Okay, I don't want to hit him. Uh, I'm assuming that you can't spin him right away, so I'm gonna compliment him. He told Lancer that you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack. Power went down. Oh, you make my feelings weird. <laughs> Don't know how I got an axe, but like that's cool. Um. I'd love to shaft you. Just kidding. Lance switches gear randomly, Greece randomly to appear competent. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So what are you guys doing after this? Lance was riding out. Let's try to spare. You spared Lancer, but it wasn't the yellow. But its name wasn't yellow. Okay, she's apparently all hitting him. Ho ho ho! I'm a bad guy! Wait, wait a second! A box is running out of fuel. Alright, you fucking roos. You have the luck of this draw this time. But next time, you lose. The losers will be you! <laughs> Bye, losers! I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get home before dinner. Okay, you won. You got zero XP and forty-eight dollars. That's a lot of money. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to induce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off the hood? I can barely hear on the rear. Um, alright. Hello everyone, I'm Ansley. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends. That's why you leave is so great. Is he twice? Yep, yeah, that's that's where we'll got it. See, it's cool, Chris. Okay, I like the smug smile that she has. Like when she, she's just going like, yeah. <laughs> um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. Chris, I am. A prince, but um, 
Currently, I don't have any subjects. I have been waiting alone, uh, alone here. Um, my whole life for you two to arrive. Sorry, Bert. So I'm only happy to meet you. To meet you. Sorry, I keep uh, burping. I have a lot of gas. I hope we, I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find out. To find Susie, she must be. She must be to southeast. To the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. All right. That was uh, crazy. That was a crazy episode. Well, see the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy voice shines within you. Alright, so uh, this is going to be the end of our second episode. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about, down in the comments about this episode. If you like it, leave a like and share it with your friends. If not, leave a dislike and share it with your friends. Yeah, you gotta do that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye. Bye.